Greg Gumbel in New York. While we keep an eye on the Flyers and the Jayhawks, time to send you out to Dayton, Ohio. The number eight seed Oklahoma State Cowboys, the top seed in the East, the Pittsburgh Panthers, Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery. Thank you, Greg. We welcome all of you to Dayton, Oklahoma State, and Pittsburgh playing for the third time in as many years. They actually met at the NCAA back in 2006. Oklahoma State seeded number eight, pit number one, and the winner goes on to Boston. The top seeded Pitt Panthers and Oklahoma State Cowboys meeting here in Dayton. Vern Lundquist, Bill Raftery, a quick key. Uh, it's all about speed, something we both lack, obviously. Oklahoma State likes to rev it up, get up and down, shoot the three. Pittsburgh's got to control the game, get it into the big fellow, Dewan Blair. A couple of really outstanding coaches featured in this game. Travis Ford is in his first season as the Oklahoma State head coach. And his starting five will include Byron Eaton and Keith Page in the backcourt, the senior and the freshman, Darrell Harris, Marshall Moses, and James Anderson up front. For the Pitt Panthers, familiar names all. LeVance Fields, Jermaine Dixon in the backcourt. You've got Sam Young and Dewan Blair. Tyrell Biggs, the defensive ace, is up front. And the head coach, now in his sixth season, is Jamie Dixon. And a tournament career record of seven and five. The officials in this game, Roger Ayers, Ted Valentine, and Brian Kersey. Today's game is brought to you in HD TV by Harris Corporation, the world leader in broadcast systems for high definition television and mobile media. How do you get hey. ready right before you uh, take the court? Hey. Here's Pitt. Hey. Well, uh, the moves, I think, uh, hey. something that we don't possess either. Uh, getting excited, revved up, and uh, you got to contribute. Biggs will make some threes, but if you can dance, you can play for Pitt. We're set to go. Moses Blair. Controlled by LaVance Fields. Burn Lundquist, Oklahoma State goes. Here's Blair off of a terrific game in the first round. 27 points and 16 rebounds. LaVance Fields, Sam Young, Dixon cuts. Penetration and a travel. First turnover of the game. In the backcourt, Byron Eton. This is Anderson going left side. A lot of dribble drive, a lot of ball screens, and this kid can shoot it. You got to get see feels right up on page. Penetration, nice move. That is their game. You got to contain the bounce. The last trip down, Pitt tried to get something going inside. An excellent Oklahoma State defense. See if it continues. Oklahoma State got here with that uh, two-point win over Tennessee in round one. Here's the long jumper, Dixon. No. Moses knocks it free. Anderson has it. And Oklahoma State puts it in the hands of Eton in the corner. Terrell Harris for three. Moses battles for it. Tipped out of bounds. Last by Dewan Blair. He's done a great job in this tournament. The tip out on the other end. And this is penetrating. And you see the defense. Everybody staying at home with their guy. That pit has not played as well as they're capable of. Let's see if they can do it today. They really struggled for much of the game the other night. This is kicked in the corner. Nice step back, huh? Anderson, the ability to put it on the deck, get to the rim, a medium game and a deep game. That time, a little awry with the toss. Did outlast at East Tennessee State University here on Friday, but it was a struggle for them. Now look at the double now. They'll do some trap in half court, try and get Pitt to play quicker. Fields guarded by Eton. That's going to be a splendid matchup to watch today. Nice tap to Biggs. And the entry pass, Sam Young. Yeah, not a good one, too, as he steps back. But he can make it, huh? Uh, medium post up. Eton. Nice hands. Tries to get Dixon out of his way. There's a spot up three, and it's good. I'll tell you, that was just great defense. And, of course, again, the penetration. Everywhere the heads turn. And Harris finds an opening and drills it. Darrell Harris, a senior out of South Garland High School in the Dallas area. Well, this is a tough match for him. A little crawler, huh? He can elevate Sam Young. He's got some strength, some power. He can control his guy, Vern. Oklahoma State leads by one in the early going. 
Dixon, first year at Pitt. Brother Juan, of course, a star from Maryland a few years back. His brother Phil played Division Three basketball. Oh, wow. I don't know. Uh, what do you think? You think uh, it was a little flopola? You, you've been watching movies lately. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Staying up late. I'm a yeah. big wrestling fan. Man. A little shack to the deck, <laughs> as he did earlier this year. A little small change, and you don't need those if you're Eton. Uh, Blair is usually the recipient of this. Uh, you can't knock him over. Come on, Vern. He's too big and strong. Well, All right. The elbow, though, may earn a little chicken, and Moses tell you he is getting confidence each day Marshall Moses a sophomore out of Aiken South Carolina had a terrific a terrific game here the other day he's been bothered by foul troubles all year he's fouled out of 11 games but he got the double double the other night there's fields not there and the inside Kip. rebound what a great offensive rebounder Blair uh, but Moses has been solid he's going to make sure he keeps Blair off the rim Somebody did the uh, homework on this one and found that Dewan Blair this season grabbed one in five of every one in four of every offensive boards available for Pitt. Leads Amazing. the country by a long shot. And uh, Sam Young may have gotten away with one, but a great hustle. Play. Nice pass. How about that? Ooh. And a foul is going to send Biggs to the line. Nifty little no-look pass from Dewan Blair. Now Blair's got a little pizzazz. He walked towards the half court line after he made the pass like he's the man's feels this is just a great save now watch him keep going on the pass Fern look at him drift back he, he's got the assist in the book already uh, Biggs lets him down Biggs a 66 percent free throw shooter one more yeah, Biggs has done a nice job he'll play that center spot occasionally when Blair gets a blow or has some foul problems. He's got that deep jump shot range on kickouts. Wow. 0 for 2. There's Blair. How about that? He's amazing. He really, really is. Utterly amazing. <laughs> Anticipation, balance, and, and also upper body strength and about, what, three feet across the shoulders? <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Now, oh, nice inbound play. Sure was. Boy, the defense didn't collect at nope. the rim. Biggs off the glass, and Pitt trails by one. Now they hang their hat on their defense, so you're going to have to execute drill comes. He may have walked there. I thought he did. How about this is his time of year, you know, it's the late season. Moses can prevail at this time of year, and he has been decimating offensively the interior defensive teams. Still zone. Young. Yes! Boy, that was a quick shot. Well, you know, when you switch to the zone, you're hoping they'll miss one, maybe two. Then they start thinking that Young provides a big-time lift. Sam Young had a season-high of 31 points and a win over UConn this year, one of two victories by Pitt. They're trying to go at Blair to get him in foul problems, and you're going to have to make real good decisions. He'll back off you. Well, here's a spin move in the lane. Rejected. Knocked out of bounds. Bad play. Not a good play. Eton. Page can hit that shot, but not this time. Well, they, they, you're right, because when he gets open, everybody anticipates he's going to convert. Dixon clears it for Pitt. There's a little uh, overload. Yep. From the corner. Biggs! That's that, inside the arc. It's for two. That's what they do beautifully. Fields did not waste any time. The zone did not get out and cover the corner. Terrific little snap pass. Let's see if they go back to Moses again. He's going to get over on the left side. Sets a screen for Harris. If he screens, they can get some looks, I think. Jumper Harris. That's for three. three Good start. Harris. Both clubs. Uh, it's a nice open look. Wide open shots and Pitt not challenging as they normally do. Now Fields. Well documented tailbone injury against Marquette about three weeks ago. Return to practice only this week. Dixon, great help. Tipped, saved. Dixon, Biggs back outside. Sam Young for three. And they got the big guy. He takes a couple when he goes. Dwan Blair gets his money worth. Tyrell Biggs from the corner. Time call. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the men's basketball championship is sponsored by Miller Lite, Quiznos, The Hartford, and by Chevy.
Welcome back to Daytona, 1440 Daytona. I knew I would say that before the day was over. Wishful thinking, huh? I think the, the pace of life is a little faster down in Florida than here. I'll tell you, the weather has been beautiful. Though. It That's has you been and, uh, uh, Right now, Oklahoma State's got to be satisfied. Uh, Young and Biggs have been great on the one side, uh, but getting good looks against Pitt, and that's unusual, Vern. Yes. Now well, we've got Young. Gilbert Brown is off the floor now. Uh, on the floor, rather. And so also Brad Wanamaker. So during the timeout, Jamie Dixon gets, uh, wants to wants to get Blair a rest. Anthony Brown is also out there. That's the Oklahoma State. Everybody feels big was not expected it. Wanamaker, number 22. LeVance Fields. Uh, this is a game against Oklahoma State. You've got a lot of perimeter people. There's a lot of nice matchups for Pitt. Not a whole lot of size for Travis's guys. Back to LeVance Fields. Switch. Gotta take advantage. Wanamaker for three. In and out. Another offensive board. That's six already. That one from Biggs, but then Wanamaker loses control. Here's Eton. Obi Manello. Ready? Yes. Ready to play. Boy, is he impressive. He can put it on the deck and go with some power. Can beat you from outside. Of course, the push in the opening. Obi Manello started much of the year. Went to the bench with Keaton Page. And then came alive. Look at that. That adjustment! Oh, wow! <laughs> Good. Call the orthopedic surgeon. <laughs> what body control? There isn't a poet in the country that could do this. I, I assure you, that is amazing. To regather, I think he was going to jam it if he could, and just to collect it and still get a chance to knock it down. Amazing. One more. Well, Bill's reference to the poet is the fact that. Sam Young, among his other interests and talents, has written 23 poems. He's also a, a musician, plays the piano, is an acrobat, as we just saw. It, 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 amazing. Of course, on the recruiting trip, he did flips. Right. The coaches were astounded. You know, five years ago, he walked into the gym, started flipping around. Incredible body control. And his brother, he said, is a better pianist, if I'm not mistaken. Right, right. And they have played together, he said, on occasion. Sam Young has nine of Pitt's 13 points. Eton for three. Oh, wow, they're four of five from three point range. Lighting it up from beyond the arc here in the early going. And a five point. Oklahoma State lead. And they're letting it come to them, Vern. They're not forcing the issue. Run their offense. He's pinned down. Wanamaker, Gilbert Brown is fouled by Page. CBSSports.com is your destination for up to the minute NCAA tournament coverage, real time scoring, and video highlights from every game at CBSSports.com. Now we've all heard the story with the zone, uh, the offensive rebound, it becomes a problem. And right now, guards are going to have to rebound to help out Oklahoma State on the glass. This Back to their man. Maker, right? Back to their man, Vern. The double nice comes. Eton got uh, in the way and knocked it loose. Well, he and Fields have similar body shapes, don't they? Yes. Uh, no offense, by the way, Vern. <laughs> Two tough kids. That one, not good. A foul is called. Well, hit to, uh, to Mr. Raftery's point. Oh, I didn't choose the time here. No, 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 would I? I wouldn't offend either one of them. But uh, they uh, they are heavyweights. Yeah, but they have just the toughness about them, don't they? Yeah. They make, they make their teammates better. Listed at 210, 190. And, of course, don't forget, Fields missed about a week of practice, uh, which he said yesterday, not that he's off his game, but just a little bit stale. Dewan Blair's back on now for Biggs. And uh, Nick Sidorkis is on the floor now for Oklahoma State. Just to elaborate on that point a bit, Byron Eton was listed at 200. 
48 pounds when Travis Ford came aboard. And su uh, suggested he altered the Pillsbury look. <laughs> and he the did. Boy. And he did. And Fields telling us yesterday that uh, his groin is bothering more than the tailbone injury, much more. How about, How about that? that? Wow. So aggressive. I mean, he can go either way. You saw that left hand with some power. And Blair occupied Moses. Young has 11 points. Here's Moses. Manello again. Five of six from three-point range. And Vern, that's going to set up his ability to get to the rim now. Young's going to hug him, and he can blow by. Eight-point Cowboy lead. Wanamaker. Nice. Oops. Oh, he tried to skip past and hit the rim. Here's Page, the freshman. Nice hesitation. Yes. The follow is not good. But Fields gets the rebound, and a foul is called. It may be Page. They are playing hard, Vern, aren't they? Ooh. Oklahoma State not stepping back. And, of course, you mentioned the ability to shoot from deep. You better challenge Nylon. I'll be on the money. Eight-point Oklahoma State lead. The difference, Bill Raffrey, three-pointers. How about them knocking them down? And again, Vern, all of these perimeter people are tough matchups. Uh, you've got guards playing three in the four spot, and it brings out Sam Young to try and contest Obi Manello, and that is a tough assignment. You've got to take advantage at the other end, but right now, free and easy, three-quarter court trap. See if Pitt attacks or settles. Well, five three-pointers already in this one. Oklahoma State had only seven three-pointers in the ball game. I mean, they are adept at putting it up, launching it. Here's Wanamaker. And that is the second three now for Pittsburgh. A nice job getting into the lane by Brown. Driving kick. Eton and Manello. There's the screen, Manello. Eton blares out, plays with one foul. Here's Eton. Another one. And look who's out there on the yeah. there. Uh, on the switch. Uh, they are just comfortable drilling deep ones and dragging bigs away from the rim. Wanamaker. There's Blair. Oh, he just takes everybody, doesn't he? Yes. It's Dorcas and all. Oh, just hang on. Uh, the lifeguard is in town. Uh, just the understanding of what to do at key times. Now, the zone, they handle the half-court trap, and now just filling on the baseline, just real smart. The extra pass, number 20, do one way able to drill him. See the numbers for Blair in the first round game, 27 and 16. Twice this year, he's had games of 20-plus and 20-plus. Once against Notre Dame and once against UConn. This, by the way, is a Pittsburgh team that's won 11 in a row. And when they lost, they lost by a large measure. They were blown out at Notre Dame uh -huh. back in mid-February. Lost by 33, but haven't lost since. Lost, they lost, I beg your pardon. Forget about West Virginia. Yeah, exactly. Be, just, no, you think I'm you're regular. You're we're right regular. To the, and there gives you know what? <laughs> and lights it up. I got to fess up now. Oh, okay. Too many games in too many days. Yeah, right. All of a sudden, I had Louisville on my mind. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh boy. That's later. Yeah, oh. you're right. Thank you. You can't anticipate how ah. Eton expected Moses to get to the rim. Tonight on CBS, you'll be moved and inspired by what you see when the amazing race travels to India. Tonight on CBS, America's most watched network. Now, Manello now a tough assignment, too, with Young. Here's a little bump by Blair and a lock. He just couldn't get out. Young, nope. Brown. And those are the ones that... Oklahoma State has to get. Gibbs is a light-up guy. Touches it, he's ready to go. Not afraid, unabashed. Wanamaker, nice dish. A long. Too strong. Knocked out of bounds by Manello. Well, that's tough. Do a nice job on D. 
Boy, I'm very impressed the way Travis Ford's got hit his guys to play. There's a nice comfort zone on both ends of the floor. Switching the D's. Young got another. Going the out of bounds. You don't like to see that. You know you drilled it. Nice screen. Set the power forward free. Sam Young has 14. And Pitt is within one. They've scored seven unanswered. Uh-oh. Numbers. Ashton Gibbs. Oh, they oh, got an injury down the other end. Both Eton's down and Blair is down. Wow. Oof. Uh, two tough competitors and guys. Oh, that's not nice to see. I don't like the shoulder with no. Eton. Jason Miller out. Of course, Tony Salisi, longtime trainer. Goes back to the Ben Hallen era, too. Well, uh, uh, he's had some cracks in his life. Remember he was talking about football to us yesterday, how tough the game is. You hit a guy like this without pads, just as tough. Well, two of the respective stars on these teams. Take another look and see what happened. Oh, there's the step in. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, oh. And they do this. Uh, Blair likes to step out and show. And really. Oh, just my goodness. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Eton favoring that shoulder. Oh. Boy, that's tough to see. Oh. Still wincing you a little bit with the knee. Eton down at the end of the bench. And Vern, as you know, one of the great things about this tournament is you get to know the kids. And it's just what he's done with his career and uh, able to lead this team into the tournament. Hopefully he'll be okay. It looks like Blair is fine. They're saying that maybe Blair went off the floor for some treatment as McGee came on the floor, Vern. Gary McGee, number 52. And uh, Byron Eton at the end of the bench, still in great pain. Here's McGee. So Page at the point. Anderson. Page way outside. Oh, Brown is fouled by Moses. Mm. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg Gumbel and company will take you out for a live look at all the action going on in the tournament, and they'll get you caught up on all the latest tournament news. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. And, and Vern Moses had done a nice job the first time trying to get a piece of it. And then ended up giving it away. How tough is this kid? Well, he's going to sit down between the assistant coaches. Well, it's going to be tough to keep him out. This kid is one of the tough competitors. And so damaging. And they're going to put him in? Oh, How about that? I love him. Well, I'm going to tell you, we had a chance to chat with him yesterday. Eton is back. He's a refreshing young man, and he said to us, obviously, I hope we win the championship, but I really, really want to be included in one shining moment. <laughs> and you know his moment, although he hopes there's more. Yes, he had the game winner the other day, and now this uh, display of resilience favoring the shoulder, and one. How about this one? It could be a four-pointer. Yes. And just his presence on the floor, he kicked it around, stayed on the other side. Oh, you love it. Three-pointer is good, and a foul forthcoming. Back in Dayton, Dewan Blair visited the locker room.
and is back on the bench now. Injured in that collision with Byron Eaton. And uh, Eaton is also back on the floor now to uh, attempt to complete the four point play. Here's Anderson having made the three and having been fouled. And what they've done, Vern, is taken advantage of their deep shooting. And it hasn't been a lot of drive, draw, and kick. It's just been perimeter passing. They extend the floor now, trying to rush Pitt. Pitt normally under control. Gets in the half court and gets a good one. Hit with the ball. Levance Fields at the point. Sam Young has had a torrid first half. 14 points to lead Pitt. They were down by as many as eight. This is Young. And yeah, that's that pump fake. He loves to get everybody biting. He walked as he ended up making the play. Young. That's six turnovers in the early going, Bill. Mm -hmm. And they're a team that really values the basketball. They're very smart with it. They average about 12 a game. 7.27 to go first half. And here is Byron Eton. And he's using the left hand. That's the front of it. Earlier he had not touched it with his left arm because of that problem. Now he's using it. McGee stays on the floor for Blair. Oh. And there's Moses. Moses. And really led to the 10 by a wonderful bounce pass baseline by the point guard. Oklahoma State up by three. Nice. Ooh. Wow. Pretty good hands in there. Obi thought he Ovanella thought he had it. And DeWan Blair is getting ready to reappear on the court for Gary McGee. So Eton and Blair in the collision with 841 to go in the first half. Looked very serious for both. And great news to see them both back on the court. Pittsburgh gets one back at the free throw line. They now down by two. This is Gilbert Brown. And you look at both guys that were injured. They look indestructible, don't they? I mean, the size for a guard in Eton and, of course, Blair. Uh, but you get banging around and moving, you get a bad angle. Some serious things can happen. Eton, Moses, there's Blair. Eton, oh, Brown was there to defend. And that's a rare miss from three-point range. But the offensive board tracked down. Moses again gets a piece of it. Eton using that left arm freely now. Nice kick opposite. Anderson in the corner, Harris. Whoa, oh boy! What a game plan. They are spinning heads right now. At that time, a drive and find first the kick opposite. Eight of 12 from three point range, Oklahoma State. Nice pump. He's got the, a patented pump. <laughs> he does. He? And he's got a kiss to boot. Uh, every, Everybody in the Big East knows it's coming. Everybody in the audience knows. Maybe they haven't uh, seen it in the Big 12. Wow, the bite. He just <laughs> gets everybody airborne. Lingerie in the air, swirling. 35-33. Uh, here's that show where the injury took place earlier. Jumper, Manello. Boy, confidence. Inside the arc, that's for two. A four-point Cowboy lead. And Vern, you're going to see them turn the corner. All of them can drive, draw, and get to the rim. This is Ashton Gibbs. Thought about it for three. Gibbs Brown. Gibbs a very good shooter. They know it, too. Now there's Young flashing in the middle. Here comes Blair. Spin move, a flop, and a miss. Harris, Manello. Unconscious. Blair grabs it. Boy, did he run the floor. When he goes after it, no one's going to get a piece. Levance Fields had an injury of his own. By the way, it was a year ago here in December. There's an offensive foul. It's called on Brown. Let's go back and take a look at this collision with 8.41 to go in the first half. Well, he has a habit of showing that a lot of coaches teach go at the leg of the big guy. He may foul, but fortunately, other than some early pain and anguish, both of them have been able to survive. And you know what may have been the worst part? When Blair fell on top. I mean, that is suffocating. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, oh, goodness. Manello. There is no hesitation. No, uh, that's their game plan. They want to get 33s up. They may exceed that today. Here's Fields. It was a year ago, December. 
on this floor at this end when he suffered a broken foot in a 25-point loss to Dayton. And Fields missed 12 games. There's Young. Offensive board off the glass and good. And he's got 20 points. We've got four and a half to go in the first half. And Jamie going 2-3. And you better tag the deep guys. Nice. Nope. Strong move, Manello. Boy, and they, Blair had to back away. Uh, these kids are really on top of their game. They are reading things, getting the runouts to challenge the shot, and then just putting it on the deck and getting to the rim. Beautiful play. Oklahoma State, 9-7 and seven in the Big 12 this year. A tie for fourth. Lost to Missouri in the semis. That was a game in which Byron Eaton played with a jam toe and had a horrible afternoon. They could shoot it, can he, Gibbs? Yes, indeed. How about the pace of this thing? Uh, everybody's playing with confidence. Yeah, they're loose. Uh, Pitt with a bounce back game, but better performance, think they. Oklahoma State right on top of their game on both ends of the floor. Ball screen and using that big, strong body. About, oh, shoot him up, right? Manello off the kick by the quarterback. Ita. How long can they keep this up? I, I'll tell you what, they, they're really wide open. Yeah. Uh, and you're stepping into shots. And that, that Pitt's got to do a better job closing out. How about a little perimeter defense? Yeah, 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 that would help. At least Pitt. Fields. Gibbs for three. Well, why not? Can anybody guard out there? 42. 41. I think both coaches signed the non-aggression pack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the halftime chill in the audience. Welcome to Dayton, the neutral city. Nice split. Yes, it was a great split. Manello passed on that one. He just fumbled it, Vern. That's what happened. He wasn't ready. Nice he pass. Oh, holy cow. Wow. What a feed. Well, he passed for TDs as a high school quarterback and leading the big guy to the promised land. He's going to have his one shining moment, I think. Blair, the double. Got to be careful. He stepped out. He was curling to it with the arm. Take another look at the pass. Well, you've got to have confidence in the field. Who needs the left arm? Moses does. We are back in Dayton. Where will you hear the president answer the toughest questions about his new economic proposal? Where else? On 60 Minutes tonight. Well played ball game. And uh, Oklahoma State with a three point edge. They're 7 of 11 <laughs> from two and 9 of 15 from three. Well, as Travis, Chris, Rick Pitino, protege, the most threes they've ever taken, 39 versus Grambling. They made 15 the most they ever made against Grambling. So they're not adverse to jacking them up. No, no, no. Two minutes to go, first half. Eton. A ball screen to the empty side. Not a good look well, there. Moses had it bounce off his knee. And Dewan Blair, only one foul, had that knee injury, but he's been quiet. Three rebounds, only one point in the game. Uh, he does not want a foul now. Uh, they're going to try and establish him. He's going to make sure he doesn't push off or dip that shoulder. Gibbs, Wanamaker. Here's LeVance Fields. Five assists and no turnovers in the game so far. He's second in the country in assist to turnover ratio. That's and his he game. cans that one. Yeah. That's his game. A little drag by Blair. Two people. Just gives enough cushion for Fields to drill it. Timeout. Jamie Dixon. One point game. 123 to go. Star for Pitt, Sam Young. Boy, he's got a lot of things he can do. How about this? The acrobatic step back, spread for a little deep three, and then how about the puff fake? Everybody bites it. He's able to get to the rim. A solid performance. Uh, he can post up as well. They haven't taken advantage of it as much. And a nice time out there to get Dewan Blair out. Make sure he doesn't get that second foul, Vern. So Biggs moves to the center. 112 to go. Nice. In the corner. Nice ball movement, wasn't it? Oh, unbelievable the way these kids have responded on the offensive end. You know, they're into the game, and good things happen when you're alert and attuned. 
Oh, that was the mellow with the assist on that one. And it's back to a four point game. 47 43 less than 50 seconds to go. Yeah, they should do for two for one here. Sam Young. How about that? I used the bump by doesn't matter who the most guy Travis didn't like the defense. Also, he wants to decide what shot they end the halfway. Travis Ford upset with his defense on that last uh, pit possession call timeout. We have a 47 46 game with 39.8 to go in the first half. Look at this. It's incredible, isn't it? Uh, they like to get 30 up, and Travis, of course, in his playing days at Kentucky, didn't mind jacking the deep one up either, did he? Travis Ford, a graduate of Kentucky in 1994, coached at Campbellsville, Eastern Kentucky, UMass. And now in his first year at Oklahoma State. That's their weave. And look at Manella. I just love how aggressive he is. They're taking it right at the guy. A little weave. They use the high post or high ball screen. It's just uh, terrific. Great upper body strength. I was out there a couple of years ago when he had a foot injury. He couldn't play. And he was shooting one-handed in a stool from the foul line effortlessly. I mean, it's a strain. But just to keep on top and uh, get that little stroke defined properly. Oh, we mentioned he uh, he had slumped offensively a little bit at the end of the year, but then in the tournament, Big 12 tournament, he had uh, a trio of games, 13 points, 12 and 18, in the win over Tennessee the other night, eight points, and uh, what an effective first half for Obi Manello tonight, 14 points already. Could you say that about all the perimeter people? Yeah, that's right. Sidorkis gets on the floor now. Uh, just yo-yoing people out, make sure you don't get any fouls. Well, Blair comes on for offensive purposes now with 27.2 to go. And uh, the old theory is use him. Yes. Right, if he's on the floor. Right. Uh, they will probably take the last one, and this is when Blair is most dangerous on a follow. A little, Fields, uh, Eton. A little nickel dimer. Byron, he didn't need it. And then and Travis just looks at the bench going, oh, my goodness. Second foul on Eton. And the ninth team foul. As you look over, but coach, I'm just trying to do what you told me. Eton's got his arm around Roger Ayers. Oh, no. And look at this. Nobody, Nobody went, for, went it. for it. They're taking two shots. How about that? Timeout Pittsburgh. How about that was weird. Well, your point guard is supposed to know exactly what's going on. Look at the race to the ball. You called the punchy bird. Punchy guys don't come up with this. Look at him. And the timeout. Whew. Heads up. Down to three seconds. 49-46. What a strange sequence that was. Fields shooting the front end of one and one. And nobody moved That's except for Fields. It, it is an incredible reaction by him. And Oklahoma State not aware, thinking of a shooting foul because it was out of the half court. Pitt has one thing to look nice. Blair wants it. Moses had a handful of his shirt. <laughs> and it didn't bother him. Undeterred. Not at all. No, no, no. And they love this ball screen. And then Blair takes two to the rim and just settles in there. Fields with a jumper. Big goal. Well, a couple of unforced errors for Oklahoma State at the end of the half. Pitt takes advantage of it, and LeVance Fields, after the hustle on the one-and-one one miss, calls timeout, and Pitt ties it up. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel with AT&T at the half after this message and a word from your local station. CBS Sports presents AT&T at the half. Your world delivered. Hi, everyone. Welcome once again to our studios here in New York for AT&T at the half. I'm Greg Gumbel along with Greg Anthony and Seth Davis. A couple of games going. We'll get you out to them as soon as they come out of timeout. But meanwhile, let's bring you up to date on what's happening. First of all, in Boise, Idaho, Wisconsin and Xavier. This is Jason Boham and the John Lieber who makes the three. And Xavier was up too early, Seth. And here's the freshman point guard for Xavier, Terrell Holloway, going to make the three-point shot, close it within two. But Wisconsin representing the Big Ten well. Trevon Hughes, the reverse 
nice layup. And the foul put them up by four. They've been in control, but Xavier's hanging right with what them. What is it about these Wisconsin Badgers? They look feeble for a while, and all of a sudden they're on top. They limit possessions. Meanwhile, Dayton against Kansas in Minneapolis. Sharon Collins down court for the bucket, Greg. Well, he's been big early on in this basketball game for Kansas, but it's been a difficult matchup. London Warren here off the penetration, able to finish. And then how about the nice behind-the-back pass from Brady Morningstar. Cole Aldridge with a big first half, over 10 rebounds that game thus far. But Dayton hanging tough in this game if they can take care of the basketball. Already 11 turnovers in that first now, half. Now Dayton playing in Minneapolis. Meanwhile, in Dayton, Ohio, Oklahoma State and Pittsburgh. Oh! Oh, alley ooping for Sam Young. And then how about LeVance Fields finding Ashton Gibbs here for the jump shot. But Oklahoma State is hanging in there. Byron Eaton doing a heck of a job in the half court. Beautiful feed to Mark. Marshall Moses, we're tied up here. Oklahoma State looks like they're trying to pull an upset. They just went to halftime. Meanwhile, in Miami, Cleveland State, I guess the Cinderella of the tournament right now against Arizona. Nick Wise scooping, ball bouncing around and falling in. Yeah, it feels like it might be approaching midnight for Cleveland State, Greg. That's Jordan Hill with the finish. And then uh, for Arizona, Chase Budinger going to drain the three. A little bit of foul trouble, though. Nick Wise just picked up his third foul. For Arizona, maybe Cleveland State can trim the way back. That's Jonathan Bullock inside the overhead bank shot. But uh, Arizona's pretty much held a double-digit lead throughout the first half. I know you like this Cleveland State team. Can they come back? I like them a little bit more before tip-off. It's a long road from here. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, coming out of a timeout in Minneapolis are the Flyers of Dayton, the Jayhawks of Kansas. 29-23, Kansas in the lead right now. Plenty of time remaining in the second half. Let's go there live. Gus Johnson and Len Elmore. Halftime in Dayton, it has been a dandy. 49-49, Oklahoma State pit. Moments ago, the Panthers getting ready to retake the court. Get a stop, get on the run, man. Everybody gotta be in this together. Stay together, they're gonna start missing sooner or later. Get together on defense, man. We get our offense on three. One, two, three. All in. It's, it's our game. Finish, it's our game, cool. let's go. The NCAA basketball tournament will continue after this message. And a word from your local station. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by Bud Light. Windows. Charles Schwab. And by Pontiac. Beautiful day in Dayton and a great tradition of basketball. Henry Finkel among the great players here and at Madison Square Garden back in the 50s. How about this? The Knicks in Boston played in the afternoon. The NIT final that night, Duquesne Dayton. As a matter of fact, the Flyers are playing right now. They've just begun the second half and they trail Kansas 35-30. Our score, 49 all in a splendid, splendid first half. Uh, incredible. The shooting and it's shocking when you think that Oklahoma State 10 for 16 on threes. <laughs> this in-game box score powered by CBS College Sports Network. Cable's home for NCAA March Madness. And as shocking as that might be, how about Pitt? Eight three-pointers as well. And uh, the, the inability of Pittsburgh to cover the matchups on the perimeter has been part of the dilemma. 63-59, the uh, shooting percentages, both uh, torrid from the three-point range. I like the rebounding edge. I think that may be significant before this game is over. Absolutely, 17-8. Uh, and, of course, 10 of those offensive rebounds by Pitt. Eton as Oklahoma State led by as many as eight and Blair our Biggs goes down hard Oof. Dixon has it and one of the few times they've been able to get to the rim Eton Biggs jumper oh he's been great today he sure has and he ran the floor to get in position to dominate and a quick pass to the big fella Sam Young 10 of 13 for 25 points his season high 31 we saw him score those in the win over UConn at the Peterson Event Center now, I think Oklahoma State can do a lot of driving now because they've made the threes and the closeout is going to be a little tighter Pitt's going to step it up on the perimeter into the corner a little too high for Keaton Page now look at this matchup huh? three on the shot clock yes Eaton didn't hit anything shot clock violation 
And uh, Eton's got some words, the senior to the freshman. Well, I think what he said is drive on bigs. You, you got the big guy around you there. Break it down. Let him do some damage. Cause some help. And then give it to me. And he's coming out because of that. Yes. Travis Ford's going to sit his freshman down for a moment. Here's Dixon Fields. Obi Manello, who had that brilliant first half, is back on four page. And he's got the tough assignment with Young, even on the checkout in here. Nice job by Moses. They're going to get Blair. Boy, oh no, did they get. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. You know, I had a chance to talk to some of the Oklahoma State people about Byron Eton and his injury to his shoulder. It happened last year also. Nothing damaging at all. Just he got a, I guess you'd call it a stinger with your football background. Yes. But a little hard one. And then insult to injury. What's Blair? Give him 250, 270? I think so. Oh, my God. Wow. Landed on top. Just underway in the second half. 49 all at the break. And uh, Pittsburgh got Sam Young's basket the first two points of this game. We've got a little cable problem, I think, uh, right in front of Press Row down here. And uh, we're set to go. 51-49. Oklahoma State had a lead of eight in the first half. Pittsburgh's largest lead of the ball game has been three. And here's Eton. Terrell Harris. Winner of this one goes on to Boston. First time Pitt has been a number one seed. Nice pop. How about this kid? Everything but. Biggs takes it again. And they got numbers here. Watch Blair at the rim. Little jump stop. Step traveled. No call. Fields. Reload. Dixon. Uh-uh. I'll tell you what, uh, Moses has really done a great job. Don't you think he made a great move? Blair countered with a shot block. He sprinted the floor and got in control on the defensive end. Marshall Moses, number 33, the sophomore for Oklahoma State. <laughs> he's, he, he's unbelievable. He gets the, that power trooper, raises the eyebrows. Young, <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> ability. Now watch this, just raise your eyebrow. Everybody <laughs> fights. I mean, come on. The scatter report, they go through it, but he gets away with it. Magnificent. 51-49. Dixon and Young fields Blair and Biggs on the floor for Pitt. Never in a hurry. Interesting over the years with the point guards for Pitt, the ball always comes back in their hand. They're willing to reset, reload. Little pick and roll. Go left side and a cheapy. And on that play, Blair goes right to the rim and holes off. I mean, that's why such a great offensive rebounder. He doesn't mind not getting the ball. It's his big carcass under that tin. First player to three fouls in the ballgame. Terrell Harris now for Oklahoma State picks up his third early going second half. Look at, Look at Blair. Does he beg? Oh, my goodness. Why didn't you get it to me? <laughs> Biggs for three. Good job by Manello with a rebound. Watch out, Juan Blair. Here's Manello. Dixon with the rebound off the missed three. A lot of one and duns, aren't there? A lot of activity on the glass. Remember what LeVance Fields said as they came on the court? They're going to start missing some of those shots. Told his teammates that. Mm -hmm. Said, let's do oh. this on defense. And then he makes a very, very poor pass. Uncharacteristic. By the last couple of games, not as sharp. And I, I attribute that to those days off. Groin problem. Toxic bone before that. Look at this. Dixon. Right beauty. Now we should apologize. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fields. How about Biggs with the block? Moses with the slip. Yeah. Dixon wants Eaton to go to his left. And there's Manello. That's inside the arc for two. He's got the Bill Bradley follow through, too. Just to let everybody know, it was me. Oh, great. Attention. Throw that hand right at the rim. Manello off the bench has 17 points for Oklahoma State. 
Dixon fade away. And nice positioning for the rebound. Manello. Tough, tough guy, I think. They play so small, everybody's got a rebound. Eton. Blair with a rebound. Tied at 53. Winner goes to Boston. Uh, I thought he did that. I, Moses finally relinquished. Biggs jumper. Yes. Boy, individual ability. He's blossomed. First couple of years he didn't play. Sort of a tradition at Pitt. You worked your way into learning how to perform with the group. And Biggs has done it solidly this year. Biggs with six points, one off his per game average of seven. Eton. Touch last by Pitt. Timeout. Panthers lead over the Cowboys, but only by a deuce. Greg Gumbel in New York with an update out of Boise, Idaho. The Musketeers of Xavier doing their best to stay up on the Wisconsin Badgers. Jamel McLean all alone for the two-handed jam. Xavier up 44-39, just over six minutes to play. Back to Vernon Rack. All right, Greg, and here is a most interested spectator, Mike Bobinski, the athletic director at Xavier, and uh, he is the NCAA Division I men's basketball committee member on site. So one of our hosts and saw him. He was a nervous wreck. Before sure was that game began a cordial host I might yes, have been great we worked so hard to get it done and we get to enjoy it and the nice winner steal of that game there. plays the winner of this game in Boston and here's a steal by Blair young three no rare miss and also you've got Blair at the rim a terrific shot pull up jumper off the glass short and Eton was down low Levance Fields Rebounding edge significant now for Pitt. Fadeaway Blair. The tip, no. But the offensive board, yes! And a free throw. And Vern just has advertised the relentless attack of the rim. It just wears on you. You're reaching, you're grabbing, you're pushed under the rim. A soft delivery. How about this? Deft touch. Aggressive. Get the crawler in a chance. Young at heart. That's also the fourth foul on Terrell Harris. So one of the senior leaders of this Oklahoma State team has to head to the bench. And Young can expand on the largest lead enjoyed by Pitt in the ball game. It's now five. That's his mom. And a lot to applaud. Great career. Some pretty good numbers, huh? 28 points for Young in this ball game. And the largest pit lead of the day. That tip, no over and back. Uh, Fields can't relax. He's got Paige. He's just got on the floor. He's looking to help out. And you go. Eton, Manello, short. Another rebound. OU, remember how torrid they were in the first half? They're two of nine in this half. And once again, Blair races out to get to the low box area. Wanamaker. Nice push it. Manello. Nice push it by Manello. He's going to kick it to the corner. Anderson for three. The shots that fell in the first half are not falling now. But sometimes it's fatigue. Sometimes it's a little bit of pride. Oh, what a look. My goodness with the left. You said punchy. It's attractive. And he walks right to Travis Ford. That now, was an unintentional thing. Yeah, I, I mean, he was not showboating at all. He, he was enjoying the moment was LeVance Fields, and Travis Ford was suddenly only two feet away. I'll tell you, you better see the ball. He'll get it to you. Enjoy the moment. Pittsburgh with seven unanswered, largest lead of the ball game now, seven, 13-34. Big East is nine and one, the top seeds 19 and 0. Check the bottom line. Eight overtime periods in the last 10 days for my partner. And at the end of the second overtime the other night, we got uh, an order of double onions. <laughs> well, uh, pretty exciting NCAA tournament, I might add. And of course, Sienna, you're talking about. We've uh, had some great games here in Dayton, have we not? We sure have, and right now, Sam Young has been just special. It's a monster matchup for a smaller Oklahoma State team at that power forward. He's taking advantage. Kick in the corner. Manello. And they're not and going they down. cannot find the basket in this half. You saw that graphic. 18 threes made in the first. None in this. And a foul underneath. Raymond Page is trying to get up and make sure negate that opportunity. 
You know what I'm surprised at, though, Vern? That they, Oklahoma State has not gone to dribbling and getting in the lane as much. Uh, maybe... Eton, not himself. You know, usually guys bounce off him, and that little injury in that first half where he and Blair hooked up in a. Uh, everybody very concerned about the outcome. Both are back playing, and uh, maybe not, maybe the worst for wear a little bit. Keaton Page looks like he's winded. He's 18 years old. What's that all about? Well, he, he just got banged. Black. Yeah, he was the all guy right. underneath the rim that they challenged. So I don't think he's been. Uh, skying and rebounding most of his career. A little uncomfortable around the rim. Young man from the city of the town of 200. Northeast of Stillwater. And look at Blair. Give it to him. Vince. He <laughs> likes you. <laughs> right. Well, Blair, Blair does not hide his emotions, does he? And what a target, though. I mean, look at this. Away from the double. Oh. Manello with a rebound. Now, you got to give him some, though. Yeah. See if they get a ball screen to get this talented point guard into the lane. Eton. There's the hedge and the switch. Now Blair back. Uh, such great defense, though. Makes it tough. Uh, breaking down. Uh, well, if he asks you for something, you should deliver, don't you think? For fear of retribution. I mean, the big guy. Come on, guys. I'm working my exercise. Yes, Give it yes, to me. Yes. I wondered what uh, word you were going to choose <laughs> <Which> there. <laughs> I got a little nervous. Very dainty. Yeah. He's not dainty. 27 points in the first game, the win they had the other night. Here's the jumper, Wanamaker. And Blair with the screen that got the open jumper. I mean, he just does his job. Yeah, I'm, uh, Keaton Page is on the bench now, and it's uh, an injury, not just uh, ran out of wind. Off the top, rebound Blair. Well, this one has this. You have the sense it's starting to slip away. Mm -hmm. And not ringing the bell, and now all of a sudden, your defense is not quite the same. Extra pass. Brown. Nice check out by Moses on Blair. And Sidorkis has it, gives it to Eton. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, everything. Oh, except the finish. Yep. And he's a little frustrated, too. One of the few times he's been able to get to the rim. Keep going. You are tough. Greg Gumbel in New York, in Boise, Idaho. Xavier staying on top of Wisconsin team, just having trouble scoring. Kenny Freeze, the lay-in and the foul. 142 to play there. Xavier in charge, 51-44. Vernon Raff, back to you. All right, Greg, thank you. 61-53 here with 11.39 to go. And uh, Oklahoma State uh, so torrid from the three-point arc in the first half just can't find the basket here and right now they're trying to set up this full court press extend the floor and a little bit of a warning here he may have attempted to reach over the line they say give me three feet or free out in the neighborhood you know mm -hmm. no such thing as free out here's biggs with young levance fields seven heck? assists one turnover in this ball game solid and uh, i think we both feel that big play at the end of the half yeah huh? He uh, went for a missed free throw. He was the only one who went for it, got it, called time, and then hit a three to tie the game up, and he cans another. Boy, he's a force. Yeah, he really is. I mean, each day he's going to get healthier. He's the leader. No question about it. I just remember chatting with uh, Jim Beheim after a Villanova-Syracuse game, Villanova-Syracuse, and Syracuse into the Sweet 16 again. He set up LeVance Fields. He's just a great player for that team. Mm -hmm. And they've always had a guard, Brandon Knight. Right. Uh, Carl Krauser. I mean, somebody who runs the show gets what the coach wants. Nice Brandon play. Knight is on the bench. There's Anderson for two. Brandon Knight as an assistant coach to Jamie Dixon now. And had his jersey retired, a surprise ceremony at the Peterson Event Center earlier this year. Of course, he's dead, uh, one of my favorites. First co-captain I ever had at Seton Hall. Athletic director, great coach for us as well. And of course, his brother, not a bad player, huh? No, Revan? No, no. Revan's pretty good. Uh, what, 13 years, I believe, in the NBA? It speaks volumes. 64 55, 10 18 to go. NCAA March Madness on Demand is streamlining every game for the NCAA championship. It's online for free. Watch any game from the tournament live at NCAA.com. 
And Bird, this is where they play a little smaller with Biggs at the center. Boy, they've gotten some good looks on out of bounds. Look up. They give it up. Ooh. Oh, what a screen by and Moses. Got, uh, instant, you know, it, it, oh boy. Uh, Fields took the shot. That's a handoff and a running screen, and it was the right call. It's unfortunate, but not like of a bad variety, unattractive. This is just a handoff, and he just happens to be there. I mean, that's one of those bang-bangers, sad to say. Levant's trying to go and keep Eton away from the ball. Boy, did he pay the price for that one. Ouch. The shoulder as well. Uh, Moses bringing it all. My God. New and old. Hmm. Now, so Field stays on the court. Take another look at this. We have seen some licks, haven't we? Oh. Oh. Count the chicklets. Tough kid, though. And a little on-court maintenance going on. And it's going to be uh, hit to inbound. Uh, Zabarian in New York. Chris Mullen comes to mind. Uh, high school of right. Vance Fields. Fred Gumbel in New York, pit on top of Oklahoma State. Meanwhile, in Miami, 9.45 and counting in the second half. Arizona leading Cleveland State by four. Ian Eagle and Jim Spinarkle. And at the six and a half minute mark, we will take you down to Dayton, or up to Dayton, Pittsburgh, with a six-point lead on Oklahoma State. Under seven and a half to play Vern Lundquist, Bill Rafter. Tyrell Harris's three makes it a three-point game, 63-60. That is the first three-pointer of this half. Oklahoma State hit 10 from three-point range in the first half. Blair. <laughs> and one! How tough is he? Vern, he took the whole front line of Oklahoma State and Dixon and moved them to the corner. Just watch this. He gets rid of everybody. And then the power, he doesn't make the first one, but look at the stick to it of this. Three and four guys around. The area that he controls is incredible. And Blair at the line. Hell ball with a pit five point lead and a possession arrow pointing toward the Panthers. And so they will uh, retain possession. Travis Ford in his first year as the head coach at Oklahoma State. They led by as many as eight in the first half. They were torrid from three point range. Cooled off considerably in this second half, but uh, have kept within hailing distance. And a couple of the defensive plays got them going to the open floor. They've started to dribble drive, kick, or get to the rim. And the big thing, they're having difficulty keeping Blair away from the offensive glass. Dixon. Here's Fields. Blair wants it. He's being fronted by Moses. Young for three. And look who's inside. Yes. So smart. Doesn't come up with it, but he had perfect position, Blair. Eton for Oklahoma State, down by five. Well, there was a Young Ooh. defensively, and Eton had nowhere to go. If you want to play for Jamie Dixon, you've got a guard. Terrific stop by Young. Congratulations to Xavier. They're into Boston. They'll take on the winner of this one. And Blair is going to, oh, they're going to work this as long as they can now. Uh -huh. So congratulations to Mike Bobinski, athletic director at uh, Xavier. The Musketeers are in the Sweet 16 again. Take a bow, right? I mean, what a, a year Sean Miller's guys have had. And didn't you have them early in the year when they struggled against Duke? Out of a Duke in the Meadowlands. Yeah. Uh, and they uh, did not play well in that game. And uh, just hung in there, got better. And a lot of answers. One more. Five point game. You can see each hitting 50%. 10 of 16 in the first half, only one of seven on the left hand column. Well, Pitt hasn't uh, canned anything from beyond the arc either in this half, only one. Of course, they're doing a better job, I think, getting the ball to the box, particularly to Blair. Uh, Fields making some terrific looks. And DeWan Blair with a big smile. That's uh, an accustomed 
persona for him. He's having fun, and why not? It's all about winning. Eton, there's the hedge again. Entry pass. Moses can't get the roll. Oh, and you don't get a second chance. That's mine. Get out of town. Ripping it apart. Six to go and a six-point lead. Easy now. I'm trying to book a berth in Boston. Young. They are patient, though, aren't they? And a lot of people, Gibbs would have shot that sh that opportunity there. They take their time and get a better look. Nice entry pass. Dixon. And they're going to shoot free throws again. Nice play by Gibbs. Coming along and on the bench, they just start Brandon Knight applauding him because early in the year, I was talking about Gibbs' ability to shoot the ball. And right here is just a great little look. And that's the improvement, the understanding, the development of a guy who can be a combo guard for this team. One more. Eight point margin for the Panthers. And behind the Panther bench, the Panther following. They love to run that little double across and then a turnout on the other side. Look at the pitch. You don't get by them. Look at Dixon. Yeah. Isn't that something? Nice look. Yeah. Oh, fine. How about that? Uh, Eton, timeout called quickly by Travis Ford. Beautiful <laughs> pass, Byron Eton. Isn't that pretty? Uh, how do you lose Modelo? Uh, gorgeous opportunity. And a nice little pass and finish. Jim Dixon, Jamie's father, tries to make it back from Los Angeles for as many games as possible, coached by his son. Wife Marge lives out there. Jim Dixon was uh, a screenwriter. And, of course, the family tragedy three years ago when his daughter Maggie, who was the head basketball coach, women's basketball coach at West Point, died of an unexpected heart attack at the age of 28. And uh, the entire family is still dealing with that one and will forever. And Jamie and Maggie, such great friends, and of course, in the same profession, uh, one helped the other, and I got to know Maggie. Uh, we had a game up at uh, West Point and had an evening uh, where she shared her beautiful personality and knowledge, too. It was a great night. And another sister out in Los Angeles. Julia's a member of the uh, Los Angeles District Attorney staff. Very accomplished Dixon family. Jamie's guys are so sound, and he calls the timeout because he didn't like what he see. Down to seven on the shot clock. 4.51 to go. Tomorrow on Two and a Half Men, what could turn Charlie from center to saint? You've got to see it to believe it. That's tomorrow on CBS, America's most watched network. Shot clock at seven. Both teams now with two timeouts remaining. Dixon will inbound, guarded by Terrell Harris, who's on the floor with four fouls. LeVance Fields, guarded by Eton. He knew right away, huh? Yeah. Eton uh, didn't keep him from getting in the rim, but made it a very tough shot. Good sportsmanship here. Yes. A lot of respect. Two pretty good point guards. Two on the shot clock. Fields will inbound. You got to think, the Oklahoma State stop is the key here. Young off the front rim. And nice play. Here's by Harris. Harris. Gibbs is back. And so is Young. How about that? That saved the deuce. That was on the way up. And Travis wants it, but no way. And Teddy Valentine right on top of it. That's great defense. And tough shot. You don't give up on the play. Uh, he is more than a three-point shooter, more than a post-up guy, and more than that pump fake that gets everybody in the audience out of their seat. Terrific effort. Foul is called on Gibbs, and that sends Harris to the line. Back within five. And making this one now, you can put a little twist, see if you can shake it up, get Pitt to do something quickly. Oh, well, they're so seasoned that they'll beat the timeline and then milk that clock. Yeah. 
Harris has 18. The difference is four points. Oklahoma State with some tenacity. And they go right to the long pass fields. That is a rare mistake. And Jamie looking over. What is your lead guy? Uh, just the deployment here. You can understand what they're trying to do, uh, but just a little deep. And even Sam Young, Sam the man, can't come up with that one. Second turnover for LeVance Fields and a collision. Blair shows with that leg, and that's how that incident started. Incident uh, that injury riddled particular play on a hand hedge. A lot of teams will go at his leg and get that foul on him. He's got to show and get it out of there. That's his third. He's fouled out of three games this year. All three pit losses from the corner. Oh, brother! Taylor made by Eton. And Anderson ringing the bell. And right there, how about these kids? Seven unanswered for the Cowboys out of Stillwater. Oh, good. Great. Give it a two on one. Oh, you should have it earlier. Oh, yes. And the foul is called on Fields. Hold on, Bird. They have not packed the tack, the trap, the run out. This is the three. They'll be shooting free throws when we come back. With 5.20 to go in this ballgame, Pittsburgh had an eight-point edge. Byron Eton has helped fuel the comeback. They've scored seven unanswered. He has a double-double, 11 points and 10 assists. Second double-double of his career. Five steals as well and a chance to put Oklahoma State back on top. They, the ability to change defenses has really helped Oklahoma State. Full court, then they went three-quarter, caused that long turnover, out-of-bounds pass, then the trap ignited them, and this kid made some good decisions. Cowboys lead. There There's is a 10 of 10 at the free-throw line. Nine unanswered in the corner and it began really with a lapse by LeVance Fields when he threw one three feet over Sam Young's head. And now just a little bit hesitant. A little open jumper in the corner. Uh, cast on it. And now they're going to get deep again. Nothing going under 10, Vern. Six on the shot clock. Here's Fields. Young for three. Oh, goodness. How about him? A little dagger. Wow, what confidence because Blair moved to the lane and then dragged people. Nice kick by Fields. Earlier in regular season and a convincing win at home over UConn. He hit 31. He's just matched that point total. They got a little nickel dimer. Wanamaker on Harris. Just a terrific play as Fields drags two, finds his partner Young, who's just, just raised his game magnificently. Eton will inbound it. He'll be guarded by Fields. 2.54 to go, pit by two. Anderson. There's Blair coming out. Not want to say How about that. And a putback by Moses. And that happens on driving because you go over to help out and it cleans the glass. Terrific reaction by the big guy. Dixon. Pump fake. Oh, wow. Tipped out beautifully. Thought he got fouled. He was looking for the foul. Dewan Blair tipped that into his teammate Lance Fields' hands. Heads up play. Wanamaker on the floor. Now Blair pick and roll. Fields all the way. And they're going to score it and one. And a foul. Wow, they lifted the back. What a great play. They've been coming over the top with Fields going left to right. This time he opts for the empty side. And you can just see the tardy. And how about the switching of the hands to the left by the little guy? Heads up toughness. Look at the push off. And he got away with it. No, nope. no. Nope. Three on two. And a nice Young spread. Murray's back. Four, three. No, sir. 
Young chased down. Blair has it. Fields close to the out of bounds line. Guarded by Eton. There's Blair. And they go back for it. They're going to try and get a switch situation. Eton knows he wants to stay at home on Fields. Shot clock at 10. Here's Young. There's that pump fake. Nice Eton hands. doesn't go for it and knocks it out of bounds. How tough is he? Uh, I thought maybe another bounce. You could have done some damage. How about this one, though? Everybody does alarm everybody when he raises that ball. But the quickness of the hands. Five seconds on the shot clock. 91 seconds to go. Timeout, Pitt. Pitt leads by two. 91 seconds to go. Cowboys have two timeouts left. Pitt one. You see Oklahoma State has committed ten fouls. Pitt six. And the possession arrow, Cowboys. And, and Vern, uh, they've run some nice out-of-bounds plays where they screen, and Young comes off to the right corner. Here he comes. Nice play. Back, back. to Fields for three. Yes! How about that? Not ready. The most dangerous guy is the inbounder, and Fields ever alert on top of his game. And the margin is five. Eton. A little bang by Fields from the rear. Oh, you've got to be ready. Five seconds to go. Just watch how quickly he steps in. Magnificent. I mean, the nylon, rather simple for a guy of that ability, but the heads-up play and the defense just not aware. Byron Eton, the senior out of Dallas Lincoln High School who was the hero of the win against Tennessee when he scored and was fouled with almost no time left, is at the line. And he's perfect 4-4. Remember the other night? Byron Eton goes left. And one. And Oklahoma State won by two. Now they trail by three. Same little three-quarter court press. Force it one way. You must post and step to the ball if you're pit. And put some heat on the pass. Fields and Dixon, Young, Blair. Here's LeVance Fields. And the big thing, Pitt has options at the end inside. I mean, that really helps them, whether it's a catch or a dribble drive or an offensive rebound. Shot clock at 15. Three-point difference, Pitt, 10. Here's Fields, pull-up jumper, tough oh, shot. Tough, and look who's inside. Blair, oh. got it! Total control! Knows where to be. Location. High rent district for the big fella. 40 seconds to go. Eton. Nice. Manello for three, that's gonna be short. Tracked down by Dixon, and he is fouled. Eton on the end there. Got the tag, but goodness, there's so many people up front that can do some damage for this team. Biggs, Young, and just right under the rim. You can't move him. Impossible with the size, strength, the width, and flex him. I don't blame you. Well, he has had a quiet double-double, if such a thing is possible for Dewan Blair. 10 points, 12 rebounds, and Dixon at the line. Now you mentioned his defense, and uh, they got a timeout. We'll get back to that. Oklahoma State calls time. winner of this one goes to Boston where they will take on the Xavier Musketeers. Villanova and Duke have already booked their flights. They'll meet in the other semi in the Sweet 16 in Boston on Thursday and Saturday. And here is Jermaine Dixon. Yeah, we talked about his defense early on, Vern. He has really developed into a sound basketball player. Got that confidence from his brother early in the year. Worked on his stroke when they were down in Washington. His brother is Juan Dixon, who was a great star for Maryland. The other brother, Phil, played at Shenandoah. Eton, no. And look at that high riser. 
If it's not Blair, it's Young. And LeVance feels just thrusting that fist here on the sideline. And our Chevrolet players of the game, Byron Eaton, 15 points, 10 assists today. Sam Young with 31 points, 12 of 20 from the field. He lit it up in the first half, and he's got a chance to cinch this thing now at the free throw line. You know, the more you watch Pitt, the composite team comes into mind, doesn't it? Yes. One more. Uh, we mentioned at the half, we thought the rebounding advantage might prove the difference. And the rebound advantage is 41-21 yes. for Pitt. And none bigger than that offensive board from DeJuan right. Blair a moment ago. Well, they give you a headache. And Blair takes a blow. Does his damage, doesn't he? Eton. 20 seconds to go. Anderson over the top. And, uh, wow. And, and remember what DeJuan Blair said to both of us? Yes. We don't, we just win. You, know, you may not run anybody out of the building, but we are about winning. Today, a prime example. Five seconds to go. Pitt goes to the Sweet 16 again. That's been a problem area for them. You'll hear a lot about that in the next week. They prevail. They hold off a valiant group of Oklahoma State Cowboys. Jamie Dixon has won his 162nd game. That's the most ever by a six-year head coach. Uh, he broke a tie that he held with Everett Case of North Carolina State. Jamie Dixon and the Panthers are bound for Boston. Byron Eton's wonderful career at Oklahoma State has come to an end. Greg Gumbel after this message.